Actually, if it hadn't been for tagging, I think a good case could be made that there would be practically no bluefin tuna fishing at this point in time. Frank Mather educated the world about bluefin tuna, developed the first tagging program, and never had a biology degree. But he had a passion for fish, and in 1945, he became a research associate at the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute in Massachusetts. An avid fisherman, Mather kept records of every fish he caught. When his own observations didn't agree with published information, especially concerning bluefin migration and growth, he resolved to replace theory with fact. Mather determined that marking and releasing fish that could be recaptured at a later date was the most obvious way to gather precise data. By the early 1950s, he had designed the dart tag and tagging stick, and in 1954, he created the Cooperative Game Fish Tagging Program. A joint effort between the public and scientists, it was the first of its kind anywhere. Tags were field tested on small bluefin in Long Island Sound in 1954. Five years later, two of the tuna were recaptured off the coast of France. Part of the National Marine Fisheries Service since 1968, the program remains one of the largest in the world, an important management tool that is also credited with increasing angler interest in tag and release fishing. Much of Frank Mather's research was groundbreaking, and his voice was one of the earliest to warn of the Atlantic bluefin's demise. In the early 1970s, Mather became a member of ICAT, the International Commission for the Conservation of Atlantic Tunas, and his findings led to the Atlantic Tunas Convention Act of 1975. Mather was a visionary, the first to put game fish tagging into practice. He persevered to make it one of the most useful tools in the study of pelagic fishes. For his lasting legacy, Frank Mather will always be held in the highest esteem by scientists and anglers around the globe.